What does it mean to be a woman? How would you define the word? Oh, society has its answers. Some would say difficult and absurd. Labels fly with the wind and sweep their identity right out from under their feet. Does being a woman mean being weak? Does it mean being perfect and elite? The definition varies from society to culture, from one generation to the next. Magazines and clothing lines tell us how to judge and understand the fairer sex. But where do we look for answers? Perhaps to the home. Is a woman supposed to be a wife or a mom? But what about those who are on their own? Is it right or commendable for her to be driven by career? Should we stand up and shout feminist when she tackles her ambitions without fear? Thoughts produce feelings and feelings produce words. What we say matters, so we need to be sure that we're communicating the truth and not leftover lies. Those little devils are hard to get off you to our dismay and surprise. What do we mean when we say, you fight like a girl or you run like a chick? These words carry weight and their presuppositions stick. In order to get an identity that fits, one that can bring us back to the Maker's creative intent, we need to look to the truth of God's Word and we must not relent. Woman was the masterpiece of God's creation, the crown jewel of the creative order. She blew the competition away. Adam's jaw dropped to the floor. This is now bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. She shall be called woman, for out of me she was made to complement and complete mankind's image of God. All glory to the King, give Him praise, give Him laud. We need to reclaim and restore the identity of woman. It's time to see past the labels and the lies, to be wise and to assert that which was once clear and understood. Woman is God's crowning achievement. He looked and said, this is very good.